We are on to the CloudWatch cheat sheet, so let's jump into it. So CloudWatch is a collection of monitoring services. We have dashboards, events, alarms, logs, and metrics. Starting with logs first, uh, it is the core service to all of CloudWatch, and it logs data from AWS services. So a very common thing that you might log would be CPU utilization. Then we go on to metrics, and metrics builds off of logs, and it represents a time word set of data points. It is a variable to monitor, so... Uh, let's go back to CPU utilization and visualize it as a line graph. That is what metrics is. Then we go on to CloudWatch events, which triggers an event based on a condition. Uh, a very common use case is maybe you need to take a snapshot of your server every hour. I like to think of events as a serverless cron tab because that's how I use it. Uh, then you have alarms, which triggers notifications based on a metric uh, when a defined threshold is breached. So a very common use case are building alarms. So if we go over $1,000, I want an email about it. You got to tell me. Then you got CloudWatch dashboards, as the name implies. It's a dashboard, so it creates visualizations based on metrics. There are a couple of exceptions when we're dealing with EC2 and CloudWatch. And the first is that it monitors at an interval of five minutes. And if you want to get that one minute interval, you have to turn on detailed monitoring. Most services uh, do monitor at one minute intervals. And if they don't, it's going to be the one, three, or five minute interval. Uh, logs must belong to a log group. CloudWatch agents need to be installed on EC2 host if you want to get memory usage or disk size because that doesn't come by default. You can stream custom log files to, uh, to CloudWatch logs. So maybe if you have a Ruby on Rails app, you have a production log and you want to get that in CloudWatch logs, uh, you can do that. And then the last thing is CloudWatch metrics, metrics allow you to track high resolution metrics um, uh, so that you can uh, have sub minute intervals um, tracking all the way down to one second. So if you need something more granular, you can only do that through cloud metrics. So there you go. That's the CloudWatch cheat sheet.